64 and we find ourselves in the tranquil settlement of Cheyenne, somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The tracks from the east end here. Our job, to construct a railroad line to the west. The first transcontinental railroad in the whole of America. The investors have given us a rather modest sum of money, but that'll have to do if we don't want to scare them off. If the competition carries on working at the current pace, they're expected to reach the goal before us. Let's spare ourselves this disgrace and get started. All right, welcome everybody. We're doing a, a new series here. Transport Fever recently came out. Um, I played it on free game for a little while just to get the hang of the game. And we're going to see how it works. I'm, I'm really confused by how uh, the goods work, but we'll see. Okay, welcome to Wild West. In 1864, we find ourselves in this tranquil settlement of Cheyenne. Okay. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. The tracks from the east end here our job to construct a railroad line to the west. The first transcontinental railroad in the whole of America. The investors have given us a rather... Oh yeah, he already said that. Um, okay, so start mission. If we want to beat the competition to the gold, we'll need more workers. And workers need feeding. Once okay. the men are half full, this business with food could generate some extra income for us. Okay. Let's pause this for some time's not ticking. Alright, build truck station at the Cyan Farm and the Cheyenne Grain Storage. Okay. And the Cheyenne Grain Storage. Okay. Where's the over there? Okay, so we just gotta truck it from one to the other. Hmm. It's gonna be save us time. Oh, we can't can't delete on pause. Sucks. It's gonna save us time when we build our own road. There we go. So we just shaved off that whole loop. Alright, so we gotta build truck stations. So what you wanna do, you guys probably watch Let's Plays and all that on these series. You wanna get this as far as you can while still being connected to that. So we'll go we'll go right here. Build another one down here. And put it on this side because why not? See how it lights up? That should be lit up, and that should be lit up. Yes. Okay. So now we have to build. Oh, let's put these up top because we're going from the farm to the storage. So now. Now what we have to do is build uh, a depot, which is easy enough. Click that, click that, and we now have a depot. We'll put that right in the smack in the center. All right, set up a line between the two truck stations and deploy the horse-drawn carts on it. Okay, so we're going to do click here. Always keep my lines up here so I can keep an eye on them. Uh, we're going to do a new line, and it's going to be from here to here. We're going to call it. Um, Green, oh, green delivery trucks. Okay, so we're going to purchase some. Oh, we don't want to add more stations. Okay, get out of there. We want to buy some of these horse-drawn carriages. How many does it say we need? Horse-drawn carts on it. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Let's do four. And we'll set them to grain delivery trucks. Okay. Let's put this out of the way so I can see. Now, as these start delivering, the production will start to increase. And it's it. I, I'm really confused on how on how goods deliveries work because well, I guess I'm not confused. I'm just frustrated with how it works. Because you, you you have to deliver for production to ramp up, but for production to ramp up, you have to deliver. So you generally have to run more vehicles than you need because that's what's going to ramp to those deliveries, and they got to be spaced out. So these will space out as we go. Um, hopefully, okay. So oh, that's that one here. Okay, so we're just we're just waiting. Let's go ahead and turn up the speed while we wait for that.
And it's a lot of waiting early on. Anybody delivering yet? anything yet? Probably not. Let's throw these guys over here. K. How much grain do we have to deliver? Oh, we did it, okay. We did it. Alright, so what's the next objective? Oh, we gotta deliver four grain. Four, four deliveries. Alright, I guess it's a good thing we did four trucks. These two should roll, roll on in here. This guy's got the last grain delivery. Let construction begin. All right. In order not to fritter away our meager starting capital already on the first leg of the Let's journey, it is sensible to choose a route that avoids costly so blasting to take operations. Up a little bit. To We're at 50 now. All right. So let's pause this again while we read, so we don't lose time. Look here. Uh, da, 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 build a rail line from Cher Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Cheyenne to Laramie. La Where the hell's Laramie at? Oh my God, that's far. Okay, what we're going to do, we're not going to build through the tunnel because that's going to be, I mean, through a mountain because that's going to be super expensive. We're actually going to build around and follow this road since the ground is already level, pretty much there. Yes, let's do that. Alright, so, um, we're going to build a passenger station. And we're going to actually use, we'll, we'll do this. Let's turn these on. Let's put that down in the corner so it stays on. Alright, so we're gonna go from we're gonna carry the industrial people. Um no, let's Oh, it's already built. Oh that's the enemy. Is this that's the yeah, that's the enemy. Is that my stuff? Hold on, get out of here. Can I click on that? Can I use that? Oh I can. It's already built. Okay. Okay, cool. That's already built. So let's build a station here. Oh, station. Um, we're going to build it. I said we build it right here because we use buses. And, I mean, uh, horse carts to transport people. Um, let's go on this side of the highway though. I'll put this here. Oh, can't can't build when you're paused. Okay, whatever. Zoom in. Let's pop a road in. Let's start building our terrain. It's going to be expensive going over here, though. 196k. That's fine. Okay. So we want to we want to follow this road as much as possible because we don't want to go into a ditch. I mean, into the mountain. I tend to build in the sections. It's cheaper. Um, it lets you control where you build at. I'm just going to put that down. Get the cost down. I'm not concerned about speed because speed on these trains is not great, so. I'm more concerned about cost. At least starting up until we get the train running and then we can worry about speed on the trains because they, then they start going faster. Okay, so where's the town? Town's over there. Are the trains over there? Okay, that's cool. back a little bit. At least we're earning money on the, uh, the grain line, I suppose. Okay. Uh, should we just connect this right on? Yep. Boom. Wonderful. Okay. This one leg completed already. However, we're already encountering our first difficulties. It was very good of the government to place this land at our disposal free of charge. If it weren't for those damned Indians. They've pitched their tents right in the middle of our planned route. Our scouts seem to think they're rather displeased with the white man and his iron horse. <laughs> and that's us. 
Okay, so what are we supposed to do with gold? Um, where's the Indian territory? Oh, do I not have to build trains? Building a passenger train and connected to the okay. Oh, this okay. Those damned Indians. They're sabotaging our work and are said to have physically attacked some of our men. We need to do something. We have various options. Either we buy them a piece of land of equivalent value, which could get pretty costly, or we could settle it the old-fashioned way, water. which would probably cost us our good reputation in certain circles. Or else we could try to bribe them with fire water, although its consumption is known to make one rather aggressive. Well, let's, let's buy them some land. We got money, let's just give them some land. Okay. Okay, oh, so we gotta connect this town and Laurent and Rawlins. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Oh, we'll take this train around this way then, that's okay. I'm gonna put it on that side and just cross the road right here. Oh, well. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna cross right here. Much curvature, really. All right, so now let's delete that a little bit. So let's get some more curve out of it. There we go. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so now we got to go di directly over there. Oh, this is gonna be expensive. So do we have a train station over here yet? We do not. Okay, so let's put a train station over here. Um, we'll put it. We'll put it right, like right in here. You know what? We'll put it right in here. It gets close to the town. Okay. Where's our train at? Our track over there. Okay. Okay. Slowly making our way to connect. So let's, what's this one cost? So that's not bad, okay. Yay! The problem with the Indians has been settled, but we've already encountered our next challenge. Before us lie miles and miles of nothing but bone dry step. We'll need to make sure we don't run out of water. However, there should be iron ore deposits that we can exploit to make a wells money and to produce tools. Where the hell are the wells at? Oh, wells are right here, okay. Oh, that's fine, so, okay, so we'll just. We'll just do this first. So we can hit all the wells. Just three wells. Oh, oh all these wells, okay. Okay, alright. Alright, let's build our station. It to be, and we're probably gonna have to go to Ogden next, so let's build it over here. Put it right at the end of the street, screw it. We don't care what these settlers think. There we go. Uh, the, the mouse, like, it moves backwards when I'm used to, so. This one, and we're gonna hit this one. Where are, where's our train station? Over here. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Okay, that might have been a bad placement. That was definitely bad placement. Shoot. How much is a train station? 80 grand. All right, so let's do this. We'll move that over here. Connect that up. We'll have to reevaluate re this track. connected right yeah it's connected okay then we can delete this stuff delete 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 okay that's good okay that's fine okay so let's go ahead and connect 
this. I'm old school. I like, I like to go across the street. I guess. I don't know. To lift a favor. They're claiming that they haven't been paid for months. Well, no that idea sucks. whether that's right, but we're pretty short on money, and it's only a matter of time before the investors pull the plug on funding us. We could put off paying our guys until Let's just pay them. Good. Be done with it. It's back to work. Unfortunately, our tools are worn out and dreadfully inefficient. We should have our men make new ones. There's an abundance of iron ore in the area. This will save us money and we'll make faster progress. But freight trains next to, from Rollins or mine to Laramie Tool Factory. Oh, that's a long ride. And construct them, connect them with tracks. You can deliver iron ore so that tools can be manufactured there. You can save resources by using the existing tracks for the freight train. Build a depot and buy a freight. Okay. Terminal station. Oh, no. Not terminal station. My bad. We want to do freight station. Oh, well, we want, hold on, we gotta build a road here, because we can't, we're not building that way. Let's do it this way. Now let's build a tr yeah, that's connected. Can we turn it some more? Oh, we turn it this way. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's connected, right? Yep, that's connected. Alright, let's go ahead and take, take this on here. Yes, it is. So now we're going to need a signal, though. All right. So signals basically are stoplights. They let they let the train go up to this point. If there's something on this part of the track, they'll be able to go up to this point. So yeah, that's all right. Um, one more freight train. Build, oh, you know what? Let's build the road first so we can make sure it's connected. Because things. Alright. Um, let's turn it this way. Yeah, that's connected, right? Yep. Okay. And then we'll just bring this this way. And we'll connect it down here. Oh, no, not there. Connected, okay. All right, okay. There we go. Uh, that's what I was supposed to connect to, right? Rollins or mine, the Laramie Tour Factory. Yeah, okay. It's connected. What's the problem? Oh, do we need a signal? Buy a freight train that can transport ore. Okay, I can do that. I guess we're gonna be buying trains now, guys. So, is this the ore, or is this the, oh, this the factory? Okay, let's go place a truck. Fact, thing by the, by the, over here, right here. All right, so get this lined up. We'll put this right here, just for simplicity. that up there. Yes. And then I love I love the signal, so we're gonna put a signal. Because why not? Alright, and we gotta buy a freight train. Buy train. Alright, so now what I said earlier about speed. You only get forty you only get five miles an hour, but it's fifty two thousand versus twenty eight thousand a year. So we're gonna go with a slower one. And we need to transport iron ore, so we gotta make sure our container can take iron ore, which is the gondola. It, it'll it'll automatically say, "All right, take this one." We want to do. We gotta do enough to make it make it uh, profitable. We'll do two cars. 
Yeah, we'll do two cars. All right, and we're going to set a new line. We're going to go from this freight station to this freight station. And we're going to call this train, 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 uh, rail, or raw. Excellent. and deliver iron ore from Rollins to the Lumbermy Tools Factory so it's supposed to be manufactured. Okay. Okay. We gotta make, we gotta produce 10 tools. So let's fuck, oh no, go back the other way. Yeah, this will send it back. So that's an iron ore mine, yes. So let's put this up here so we can see what our or production is. We'll put this one up here so we can see what our tools production is. Just for purposes of this campaign. We can carry 14, so it's going to be a whole trip before we, uh, it's going to go all the way down and come all the way back before it realizes, hey, we could make ore. Oh, maybe not. There's one. Alright, it's making two already. so we can see what our storage at the train station is. Let's speed up time, because going slow sucks. Oh, I could have just put a track here and cut that whole, whole corner out. But we need to save money, because we only got 400 grand left. Chug it along at 40 miles an hour. It's pretty flat, so we don't have to worry about pulling power or any of that good stuff. Let's follow the train. Let's see how our grain deliveries are doing. Are you guys maxed out yet? Oh, you're... Oh, over here. Alright, so you're maxed out at 50. You're maxed out at 50. So, is it going to upgrade? I guess maybe they don't upgrade in the, in the campaign. I don't, I don't know. That'd be convenient. I'm making a nice profit though, 14k a, a year. Should we add another truck to that? Are you guys carrying full loads? Oh, you're not even carrying full loads. Yeah, you're not carrying full loads. Why are you not producing more? Maybe it doesn't upgrade. Well, screw that. Go back to the depot. I'm not gonna spend extra money for a truck if it's not they're not carrying full loads. Alright, so 14, so we're going to complete this, this part in a second here. Alright, so let's sell this vehicle because I'm not paying for a vehicle that isn't being used. Or isn't, not, not, there's no, no chance for uh, extra profit because it won't upgrade. Let's get this off the screen. I got 32 warrants there, okay, nice. Get rid of these because it's going to finish in a second. I like the trains. I'm, I'm preferential to the the road vehicles. I like the road vehicles better. Our loan has already been used up. 
protesters won't like that. But if we ask nicely, maybe they'll give us a little bit more. I don't need more. I'm profitable. I'm about to make bank right here. See? I'm making money. Oh, not yet. Next trip I'll make money. I guess I'll take out a loan because I have to. Alright, can I send you back to the... Oh, it's producing them now. Okay, so... Whatevs. And we're done. Come on, two more. Make it, make it. Make it! Are Excellent. Blessing. They've made our work much easier. Now quickly over the hill to Ogden. And from there, we're just a stone's throw from our destination. So come on. Okay. Chop, chop. Let's get out of there. Uh, where's Ogden at? Og oh, wrong way. Look at all these, ore, all these tools we have. Oh, that's ore. The tools are over here. Duh. La Remy, La Remy, La Remy. Okay, um, where the hell's Ogden at? Ogden is right there, okay. Good job. Oh, this is going to be an expensive part of the track. Let's see where we want to put our train at. Let's put, oh, we're uh, right here. Passenger station in Ogden. We can do that. And I, I, I prefer those ones instead of these ones because you... These ones are like awkward. Well, let's put let's put this here and see what happens. Where's our last? Oh, we gotta go over there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do this one because uh, yeah, that's why. But we're going to put this in here so that we can come in this side, come out this side. Put that there. We'll build a road, and then we'll build our tracks. So this one's going to come this way, and we're going to build, we're going to take this one right along, again, right along the road. I wonder if we can snap on the road. Oh, that's expensive. I wonder if we can snap alongside, yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Put that there, boom. Now we can just build right next to the road, all the way down. So it snaps next to the road, so it takes that terrain. It actually saves you some terrain editing because, like, when you're going through areas that need to be flattened, your right hand side is already flattened. Or left, depending on what side you're building on. So. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Expensive. The railroad isn't expensive, man. Trucks are much cheaper. Oh no. Okay, guess we're not doing that one. Right, that's fine. Yeah, see how let me build it in sections instead of oh, running time. out of time. We need to make haste if we don't want to become a laughing stock. Quickly the, across the river and up to Promontory Summit so that everything is ready in time for the opening ceremony. If we're lucky, we'll even make it before the competition. Oh, that's, trains are, I mean, bridges are freaking expensive. Okay. We'll do that and we'll follow the river over. there buddy All right, let's build this way now this building next to the roads isn't a good idea if you haven't upgraded your roads yet but I don't think we're going to be in this campaign for the next part of the next campaign so I really don't care because we're not going to be worrying about upgrading these roads all right so we can actually come out right across this 
go right across this road here. Oh, you know what? No, it's not. Let's not tear them trees down. We're supposed to be environmentally friendly company, I think. Alright. You know, not that the environment matters. It's 1868. I mean, Jesus. Alright, so. Go this way. We need to cross this road. We'll do it on an angle. It's fine. I hate doing that, but, you know, it, it's part of life. up here and boom yeah done it now we can finally dart across the transcontinental line in style and the first passenger train we're certain to be greeted by a cheering crowd at every station by a train with passenger coaches at the depot in Cheyenne and set off on a line that stops in all the locations and finally at promontory summit okay I can do that so let's do this let's start a new route oh crap I didn't mean to do that meant to keep that up there. Uh, new line. We're going to go from... Where's it got to start? Is this... Oh, there's no trees. Okay, so we got to start here. And we're going to go up to here. And we're going to go over to this one. And then over to this one. Stop here. And we're going to stop over over here. And this is going to be tra transcontinental rail road. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go buy a train. Buy trains. Okay, again, we're going to go for inexpensive with the investors are highly displeased with the wasteful squandering of their resources as they put it if only they knew what everything costs now let's take another loan boom and let's buy some more cars three cars is good right we'll do that oh crap and we're going to set this on transcontinental railroad yes Okay, have all pain passenger train stops in all cities at, and at Promontory Summit. So let's go ahead and let's follow our railroad, because you know. We gotta experience what the passengers experience. Make some of our little trucks going. You still making 50 a turn? Still max out, that's fine. Yeah, buddy. I don't want to make it twelve thousand a year. Oh well. Are we still on fast speed? We are. Cause you know, we gotta we, people want to see the train, because the train, or they're going to want to see the train. 42 people is a lot, though. Maybe I should have just did two cars. But we need to pay for the trip. It's a long trip. We need to make a profit. Profit. We already lost 62,000 on this train this year. Oh, 76,000. And we're not making no money because we don't have any passengers lined up. Let's do first person. Excellent. No, no, we almost ran a horse eagle. Switches, yes. What's the, what's the problem here? Oh, because we have. Oh, crap, hold on. Pause. Because we don't have a switch for. Here, you know what we might do. Uh, people aren't going to agree with me here, but we're going to double track this just for the sake. Of, oh crap! Play. 
just for the sake of not being caught up. And we're gonna put a signal in. And we're gonna oh, we're not gonna put one on that side. And we're gonna build this down here. So we have what do you mean stupid oh, did I click on the wrong thing? I did. Connect this back up here. Too much curvature. Ain't no such thing as too many curves, baby. All right, uh, put that there. And we're gonna put a signal in here. Yes. And I wonder if we can do the same thing down here somewhat. Okay, another, we'll double track another one over here. Oh, double track. Just a bypass so that the trains aren't sitting there waiting. Basically what that does, that'll let the train, like this train, will come up and park right here, or park right here, while this train, so they don't button heads. It basically allows two trains to be on the same track and, and, it's, and coming towards each other without, without getting stuck too terribly. Alright, fast forward. Alright, let's, we're going to pass each other here, this is pretty cool. Okay. See? So they can pass each other without expenditure of building an entire second track all the way. Projects such as this has the potential to ruin savvy businessmen like our sponsors. They've granted us Where one final loan, but soon they'll be broke themselves. Why are you yellow? What's the problem? It is rumored that a huge nugget of gold is buried somewhere in the wasteland before us. First settlers are said to have buried it somewhere out in no man's land while on the run from gunslingers. An aging saloon girl in Laramie knows more. Search for more clues. Okay. How would you like to search me me to search for clues? An aging saloon girl in Laramie knows more. Let's go to Laramie. Huge nugget is buried in the desert, says the lady in the spoon. That is, of course, incredibly vague. However, she also seems to think that the Indians uh -oh. might have Hold already on. found the nugget and then reburied it, as in their minds, go. Oh, did I go to wrong? Do you have a path? What are you talking about? Oh, did I put the wrong damn. Oh, crap. go what's the name of this station Rawlings Exchange not Rolling South all right so we got to get this train back on this track so we can send them that way damn it all right so we're gonna do this after the Ramy we want to go to um, so an add station Oh crap. Alright, pause. Holes. Let's delete rolling south. I put the wrong I put the freight station instead of the the passenger station in. So this should send us to exchange and then Eviston and all of them, okay. Play. Click on you and reverse. Yes. yes thank you. Let's go back to Loremi. Where's Loremi? There it is. Using the crosshairs at the top left corner of this task window, you can jump to the area where the gold nugget is supposedly buried. Search for more clues to get more detailed information. Okay. It's buried here somewhere. Okay. So how, how 
how would you like me to find it? Let's go get a shovel. I don't see a. I don't see anything to click on. Train on cover something. It'll give us like a hundred billion dollars. What's this? It's a fountain in the middle of the desert. Yeah, maybe that's the wells. One of the wells. Okay, that's fair enough. So where the hell is this nugget? Help me out, people. Fist forward. Looking, I don't see nothing. This train is freaking expensive to run. Holy crap! Maybe I should have just put one carriage. Uh, I mean, they're not. That's not the expensive part of the train. Or the caboose is the, the locomotive is the most expensive part. Using the crosshairs on the top left corner of this task was that you could jump to the area. Desert says the lady in it. Okay, so what's the. Supposed to find it and click on it, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I'm so confused. So I zoom in and uh, zoom back out. In their minds, gold cannot, cannot be eaten. Follow the clues to the Indian and click on the question mark to find out. Oh. There's a question mark. Oh, right there. A small Indian boy who oh. was evidently better disposed towards us than cool. his fathers has whispered the following to one of our people. In the mountain that the sun kisses goodnight and where the shadow of the great tree pierces the heavy rock, you will find nothing that can be eaten. What is that supposed to be? Okay. Use a train tool and dig for the gold nugget in the right location. Right here. Goodness. Okay, they're gonna have me digging up terrain and stuff. What's this? Trees, signs. Okay, well, let's. I suppose we should dig, right? It's gonna be expensive. It's true. We oh. found it. Our found it. Treasure. It's best to keep our find a secret so we don't get any envier sniffing around the place. Okay. Yeehaw. Oh, we got a new train. We got another horse tro trolley cart. Where's our train at? Almost to Evingston. That was just a way to get us more money, because you notice our money went up once we got the gold nugget, I think. I think it did. I don't know. Who knows? Oh shit, I didn't realize these are metals. I didn't know I could do that ahead of time. Be faster than the Central Pacific Road and complete the road. Before 1870, oh, we're, we're well on track to do that, guys. Thank you. It's just so slow. Alright. We're gonna go in first person. 
what do you guys think of the game so far? Something that we should continue playing, or should we, uh, do it infrequently? I was thinking, like, maybe three times a week. I don't know. Mix it in with the other two games that we're playing right now. I do wish they had accidents in this game, though, like the train could fall off the track or whatever. That would be, that would give you incentive to build your, your tracks properly. Give you something to build your tracks properly, so you're not building a, uh, you know, too much curves or whatever, and to actually replace your trains when they're old enough, instead of letting them sit there until the new train comes out that you want. I do generic. I mean, it's heavily moddable, moddable game, so. I mean, technically, you could do anything you want in the game. So. And we're coming up on the station. Do, 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 do. Yay. Anyway, thank you. Okay, so guys, that's the that's the first campaign. Leave a comment and uh, make sure you like the video and let me know if you want me to continue the series. All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.